Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Tracy Reed and this is Acrylic Pouring with Friends. And in today's video, I'm gonna be working on a 12 by 16 uh, canvas. This is what I'm using, Master's Touch Classic Collection. I love these canvas. I always buy them when they're on sale. I always buy a bunch of them. So anyway, the colors that I'm using are super, super pretty. I have got, um, I guess I can move that out of the way. We don't need that for focusing. <laughs> um, folk Art um, Aquamarine. It is super gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love that color. And then I've got two from Folk Art, or excuse me, Deco Art Americana, the Core Metallics 24K Gold and uh, Copper. And then the next one is from Modern Masters. It is uh, Venetian Blue. It is gorgeous. Um, I hadn't used my Modern Masters in a while, and um, I thought, why not look at that blue? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And then I also have another one from Modern Masters, and it is um, Pearl White. And I'm going to use this um, as a base first. So you can see right here I did a drip test, and they're pretty close. Not too, not too much difference there, so that's uh, helpful if you guys um, are trying to figure out, you know, make sure your consistencies are pretty, pretty close to each other. Make sure they're all the same. I mean, I don't worry if it's just a little bit. Um, so, anyway, what I wanted to show you is a new cup that I have. It is a five split. This one has five chambers in it. It still has the same no drip spout as my other cups. Um, I had somebody contact me wanting um, to know if I had one with five chambers. And um, I didn't until my husband decided to go ahead and make one. So this is my first test using using this cup. So fingers crossed that um, that it's good. I'm sure it is. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do, I wanted to explain really quick too about the the different chambers. This chamber right here is like the main color. These two are smaller. And the reason that the thinking behind that is those are more for accent colors. So when you have paints like these, the Deco Art Metallics tend to take over. So that is why those chambers are smaller um, for exactly that reason. All right, so we're gonna see, I'm gonna test this out, see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna start and I'm going to put the blue, I think I'll just start on the outside and work my way in, or one side to the other, I guess is how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the blue, and this is a six ounce cup. So we started with the six, it's usually how we do it. Um, and then maybe make a 10 ounce later on, not sure. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the, um, Copper next. And all of my paints um, are mixed with my pouring medium, which is Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol, and water. And um, they're all mixed a little bit differently because the um, if they're a, a thinner, you know, a thinner paint or a heavier body or a softer body. Now I mixed, this one was one and a half, uh, one, one part paint to one and a half parts pouring medium. Um, the Venetian blue was two parts um, pouring medium to one part paint. And then these metallics from Deco Art were mixed about two and a half. Um, let me see, I'm gonna put blue again on the outside. So, we'll see how that goes. So it all, it depends. There's not ever an exact recipe that you can use across the board most of the time with different brands of paint. 
um, because of different consistencies from soft body to heavy body. Now I hope that makes sense because um, it can be a little confusing and a little, a little frustrating, um, especially when you're first starting to know you, that's where experimenting and playing around comes into play. All right, so I'm gonna move this, I'll move it over here, and then I'm just gonna put my white pearl down. And this was made a while ago. So I can't remember, I think it was about the same um, one part paint to one and a half parts pouring medium. And hopefully, I mean, it was in the sealed container. So it should be good. Should still be pretty good. <laughs> Fingers crossed on that. So I'm just gonna use my handy dandy swipe tool. Um, to spread this out. It comes in handy for not just swiping, but you can use it to cover your canvas as well. Works really, really good. Oops, get that going. And you can see there's some air bubbles, so I'm gonna pop those here in a minute. It doesn't have to be, you know, perfectly covered because gonna get this on and tilt it once I do so that's pretty good right there and then just wipe it off and you're good to go all right so here I'll get my torch just pop some of these I'm not worried about the edges because once I tilt they'll get they'll get covered all right I think I got them pretty much popped and so, now I'm just going to go ahead and start pouring. All right, everybody, here we go with the dried photos, and oh my gosh, I love this painting. I really love everything about it. I, the colors blended just gorgeous. I got a lot of awesome detail. Some uh, little cells decided to develop on the bottom corner there, and I also love the really nice defined lines that I got. So this five chamber split cup really, really does work great so I cannot wait to do some more paintings using this and do you guys have a favorite cup that you like to use let me know in the comments below and also don't forget guys to like my video and if you haven't subscribed to go ahead and subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell that way you're notified when I upload new videos 
And one way to help out my channel is to share this video with someone you think may enjoy it. I really, really do appreciate that. All right, guys, if you're interested in any acrylic pouring tools like the five chamber split cup you saw me use in today's video, make sure to check out acrylicpouringtools.com for all your acrylic pouring tool needs. The link for that is in the description, so go check it out. All right, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed today's video. I have a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy as well, and I will catch you in the next one.